Welcome back to the Daily Dose. We're here at day number 30. That's right, 30. We've reached pretty much a month. So we are cruising along, and I'm so proud of you guys that have been sticking with me. Thank you so much. So today, we are beginning the book of Leviticus. So far, we've been reading stories from Genesis, from Exodus. It's been, um, there's been a lot of suspense, a lot of wild miracles, um, a lot of action and adventure and mystery and build up and um and now we're getting to leviticus and this is where folks that commit to reading the bible oftentimes will slow down or sometimes stop because this book is not quite as exciting as the previous reading material that we've had um, there's a lot of talk about um, sacrifices there's a lot of instruction about how to build the tabernacle and um <clears throat> just a whole lot of, of, of rules, um, reciting and listening to various rules and the law that the Israelites had to live by in the Old Testament. So as we get into this, um, the book of Leviticus, it begins at the base of Mount Sinai, and that's pretty much where it ends. I believe that the amount of time comprised during the, the, the Israelites' tenure at the base of Mount Sinai in this book was around a year, um, if we were to look at it from a, a chronological perspective, from the time this book begins till the time it ends, about a year goes by, and it's stationary. It all just takes place right there at Mount Sinai. So as we look at uh, Leviticus 1-4 through 4 today, and Psalm 30, don't forget about the psalm, um, when we dive in, our brief summary is going to include instruction about the burnt offering. So this burnt offering, um, it provided a fancy word called propitiation, and, and that has to do with appeasing um, God's God's anger against um, against sin. And it helped to atone for man's sin, and it also helps to turn God's wrath away from the people. The next thing that we look at in our reading is the grain offering. This offering was more of a, a thanksgiving offering. It thanked God um, for his mercies, for his provisions. We also look at the fellowship offering, which is also um, more of a thanksgiving type offering. And this fellowship offering um, a lot of times had to do with vow fulfillment. So when people would have made a vow, and when the vow is fulfilled and completed, um, they would to one of these fellowship offerings. Um, the last section that we're going to look at in Leviticus in today's reading is the sin offering. The sin offering has to do with a fancy word called expiation, which basically has to do with um, the removal of guilt. So that first word, propitiation, is normally associated with um, appeasing um, the, the, the righteous indignation or the, the holy wrath or the anger of God. And then this word expiation, like we're talking about with the sin offering, that has more to do with um, with the sinner, like myself, being made clean before God. Um, just a couple of points of interest is that Leviticus, when I read this, one of the things that Leviticus underscores for me is the holiness of God. Um, God made us. Right? God made the world. God made the entire universe. He has the right to make the rules. And sometimes we may not like those rules, but that doesn't change the fact that he is sovereign. He's all-powerful and he controls everything. And he can do what he chooses to do. And, and in this book, um, it, it just sheds light on God's holiness, which holiness is, is kind of like just being set apart. It's, it's something that's different. It's not like anything else. Um, it's it's holy. So we see that God is holy, but this book also shows that man is not holy. Um, man's holy in, in a sense that he was created in God's image. Um, but as far as comparing that to the holiness of God, um, you know, man, man is not holy in our sinful state in particular. So we also see that that God is different and unique and unapproachable by sinners. Um, this book gives 
a lot of instruction on how we are to approach God, how we're to approach him for worship, how we're to approach him for thanksgiving, how we're to approach him for um, repentance and forgiveness and sacrifices. Um, it, it talks a lot about the priestly class, and the priests are basically people who are um, mediators. They they are a mouthpiece from man to God. They mediate <clears throat> from us to God. And these priests, uh, as you read on and, and you continue to see, there, there's just so much specificity and so much detail in this book. And there are a number of instances where we see how God is very unapproachable based on some of the rules and regulations that he sets. Um, now, I say he's unapproachable. He's unapproachable unless something bridges that gap. Okay? So in the Old Testament times, um, these sacrifices would kind of bridge that gap. These sacrifices would be a covering for sin. Um, lots of places in the Old Testament, and even some of the New, it talks about these Old Testament sacrifices, um, these pre Christ sacrifices that these were um, they were they were just a covering. They didn't clean up the sin. They didn't get rid of the sin. It was just a covering, kind of a temporary sort of thing almost. It wasn't meant to be permanent. But when we get to the New Testament, and we see that Jesus is the fulfillment of everything in the Old Testament, that He is the ultimate sacrifice, and that He is the ultimate and final and complete bridge. He bridges the gap. While he is God, he's able to bridge the gap between us and the Father. So as you guys go on about your day today, um, just think about the holiness of God and, and how mighty and powerful and awesome he is and how blessed we are that he has chosen to reveal himself to us um, through nature, through his word, and through Jesus. Um, just meditate on that. Be thankful for that. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow. That's all I got for right now. Oh, and don't forget, down below, you'll see a link for the, the video from our folks at the Bible Project. They've got a good little introduction video that you can check out for the book of Leviticus. So don't forget to click on that. Give them a thumbs up over there on their YouTube, YouTube channel. Show them some love. And we will come back and do it again tomorrow. Until we meet again. Deuces.